Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Aliens. Uh, Aliens confirmed by drunk guy. The early morning light hurt my eyes and yeah, made my headache. A man on the phone had said, go through the fence on Also, the if left. you're not drinking coffee right now, Immortal, I'm, uh, I'm going to be disappointed in you because you it's know, 10 a.m. and that's a good time to drink here, coffee. And, uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Oh, well, we'll cut the difference. Drink Bailey's. <laughs> Alright, so that's the hole in the fence. What is the doing? caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Is it a pistol? It's probably a pistol. <gasps> Can I push this over? Dude. Fuck, Alan. Read that. Read that, Alan. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? So, I concluded that Alan Wake is half of the story of Alice in Wonderland. Because his wife is Alice. And while he's looking for his wife, she's in Wonderland. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Hey, buddy. How you doing? The writer is alike that reveals that wasn't the there two seconds ago. from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. What happens if I just switch the lights? No, let me turn the lights back off. I wanna fuck with this dude. Alright, nerdy night, drunk dude. I might have just doomed you forever, Marvelous, but... Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? 
I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, come on. Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Oh, Barry. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Bye, weird psycho lady. Who's Max? Who knows who Max what is? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. The skeleton of Colombian mammoth. This species is estimated to be 14,000 years old. It was recovered from... La Brie Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998 when the Columbian Mammoth became Washington State Fossil, named Bucktooth Charlie. It's, it has since become the park's official mascot. Oh, my mascot is a polar bear. I can bring him on screen, but I'm not going to. Because Seriously, Al, that would what you were saying in the car, file. just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have Is you been drinking? No. There's coffee. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. Coffee. And someone's got Alice. Do and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Heels. Oh, wait. Sorry, light heels. You Don't get me scared. wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. Oh, can I go there? But when you start confusing fiction with reality... You're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Grizzly bears. Number two bear in the world. Polar bear is number one. Polar bear is best bear. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. All right. Where's the mammoth? Oh, mammoth skeleton. Okay, boy. We're almost done here. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Sir, Those can. situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. Shut up. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about Barry. this later? No. This whole thing... It... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Nope. Oh, my phone just updated. Cool beans. Punching the, oh, punching the teeth, Barry. Punching the teeth. 
Oh, bear trap. That looks like the trapper's bear trap. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, so you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just Pick keep up. your eyes on the radio mast. It's oh, right geez. below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. Look, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight. Hey, shut up. Jesus. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry, the killer! This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Sorry. There we go. I forgot I muted myself. Crow. Go for crow. Crow. Crows are designed by Satan um, to do Satan things, so we don't trust crows. Satan. Satan crows. Hey, another well that goes nowhere. Cool beans. Come on, guys. What about the girl from the ring? What is she supposed to crawl out of? Another coffee. Two coffees. No water in the hot tub? What, what a waste of time that is. Coffee and hot chocolate are the two acceptable drinks of the stream. This Barry's oversized truck. He might be compensating. And by might, I mean he is. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with speak. Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. I feel like even if I would have interacted with that, it wouldn't have let me go to... because Barry's probably got the keys. Radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? Uh -huh. You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. That's spooky spooky, bro. Uh, no plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Pat. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. <laughs> uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, no, see, Pat, no, I'm year. just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? 
Considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Yeah, Pat. Pat, that's very nice of you to say. Now we're going to go outside and find this guy who had an axe. Because that was messed up and weird, and I need to deal with him. It's this, this hash singing slasher. <laughs> the F was that? It didn't even spook me, that was just weird. Garbage can. Chair. Chair. Tire swing. Woo! Okay. Alright. Alright, demons. Sorry I touched your tire swing. All I want to do is touch the tire swing. The demons are all like, nope. Um, I feel like that's suicide. Can I get around here? Oh, I can. Cool beans, bro. Cool beans. Cool, cool beans. Cool, cool beans. Climb that. Cool, cool beans. Oh, that window's broken. Oh, that door. Light switch. Light switch. Lights. Cameras. 